Welcome to the test review hybrid session. The test will be open book, open note, 50% from the QBank quizzes, and then 50% find the error and basic Python questions. It'll be curved based on student performance, but only anticipate a small curve. Remember, there are lots of bonus points in this class, so um, that's one way to improve your grade is to do the, the bonus units at the end. Um, it will be open till April 4th. The results will be released around April 7th. It's online, proctored, open note, open book. Um, the final will be more than likely closed book, closed note. 60 questions in one hour. So actually 50 questions, but about a minute a question. Um, the, the hardest question would be something like indentation. So we have a function here, def add one numbers A and B, return A and B, X equals add numbers three and two. Um, is the value of X five after the above? And it's not. And the reason is the indentation. This is actually part of the function and is not executed. So false would be the correct answer. Um, this question can be written in many different ways, but watch for indentation Watch to make sure there's a colon when you define a block of code, things like that. The key concepts, list. Make sure to know how to use list in Python. List can have any type or be mixed type. You can append to a list. Um, there's zero index, so item zero on that list is the first one, and one is the second one. Um, remember that lists can be accessed like arrays in other languages by index position. Um, make sure to understand the basic concepts of a dictionary and how to use it, its relationship to JSON. Understand JSON. Um, this defines the structure of the object and this, uh, the straight parentheses is for arrays in the JSON. Understand the tuple is an immutable, it cannot be changed. So x equals test one is a valid tuple. Um, tuples are similar to, to list in that they're indexed. So if I put x one on that tuple, it would tell me the value one because it's in the first position or the zero one. So it's in the second position, but it's zero indexed. So Make sure you know tuples are immutable. Um, otherwise, they behave very similar to the list. Um, on the previous comment, the tuples behave similar to list. Remember that, that in terms of search speed, they're very different. Uh, tuples are a little bit quicker if you're searching for a particular value. Now, functions. Um, know that functions can be passed to other functions. Functions do not need to return values. Um, know how to define functions. Um, remember all the material from the function lecture. Also remember a little bit about decorators. Flow control, no if, for, while, range. Uh, know that raise raises a, 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 an issue. Try, accept, and finally for error catching and the other issues with flow control we discussed in the lecture. Objects understand the basic syntax. Uh, remember when you create an object, you go X equals some class and then the parameters. Um, know all the trivia, all methods and objects pass self as the first argument by default. Under, understand the, the dot to get the properties and net methods. So if I say X dot, I can call all of the properties and methods of X. Um, this is an example of trivia, but it's kind of important. There is no private information in a Python object, um, but the single underscore says it is private, but not enforced. So if you see the single underscore, it means that this is a private um, method or property of the object uh, but the Python doesn't enforce it, so you can change it. Now, an important concept is the import statement. Import loads mo libraries. 
um, namespaces and pipelines separate sections of code. So if I say import pandas as PD, PD now has all the functionality in the pandas library. And I can go pd.name of the function and we get the function in the PD namespace in pandas in this case. Most programs are created uh, by making modules with Python. Uh, modules are the name of libraries in Python. E each separate file with a name.py is a module. Just save your code in a file with .py extension to create a module. And, and it's, it's very straightforward. So if I write a bunch of functions, put them in a file, save that file with a .py extension, I can say import that file, and then I would go as whatever, and I would say whatever dot that function, and I would be able to use that function. Style counts in Python. And, and there are tons of things you can read on style in Python. But for the test, camel case for classes, meaningful variable names in lowercase with underscore. So, and I even wrote it like you would write it as a, a variable in Python. Now, please never write a variable that long, okay? So meaningful variable names in under <laughs> would be about as long as you want to write. Uh, but no, I, J, K, X, W, Z is not a good variable name if you're really writing Python code. Um, the doc string, underscore, underscore, doc, underscore, underscore, is the string at the start of functions and objects with the triple quotes after the definition. So you'd say def class or def object, and the next line starts a string with triple quotes that's not assigned to anything, and it knows that that goes as the doc string. Um, use correct formats on doc strings if, if you're doing real Python. So that means there's a very particular style and we'll learn more about that after the first test. Um, find the error or no error. Be able to write the line number of the error. Common errors tested include missing the colon for functions, loops, and other indentation blocks. Um, closing quotations and rules for strings. Tuples being immutable double equals instead of single equals for testing inequalities that will generate an error. So if I say if, remember you have to use the double equals instead of the single equals. Double equals is testing um, if two things are equal. Single equal is testing is assignment, is assigning a value. So just remember that there'll be a test question on that for sure. Know the magic methods of doc and int. Doc is a doc string at the start of the program. Int is the function that is called first. It's the constructor. Um, it passes self plus any additional parameters when the object is constructed. So study. You do not have time to look everything up. Open book, open note. Um, the questions are in random order, one at a time, no backtracking, okay? So keep an eye on the time. You, you can't go back and answer a question, so you can't skip questions. So don't look everything up. One minute a question, 50 questions in 60 minutes, you're not going to have time to look everything up. The, the best sources to review before the test are my notes and online sources like W3School Python or any of the other online schools. Quizzes are half the questions on the test. So if you've been doing well on the quizzes, um, that's about half the questions. Now remember, you only see about 70% of the quiz questions. Um, I have about 15 in each bank and you're randomly given 10. So it's, it'd be helpful to review the quizzes, um, but it, 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 you, you know, that's, that, you know, we've had 12 quizzes at 10 a piece. Um, that's 120 questions. You probably didn't see an additional 40 or 50 of those um, that, that were not on your quiz randomly. So, and I'm only going to give you 30 of those 180 or so questions. So look at the quizzes that you've taken in the past as one method of studying. Um, and other than that, it's, it's not designed as an exceptionally hard test. Um, I'm just making sure that you're staying up with the class um, and, and that you're putting forward the effort to learn Python. And I know a lot of you in this class are really good at programming. 
and a lot of you this may be your first experience with a programming class and so I'm trying to design a course that meets the needs of both of those student populations and how am I doing that well um, there's a lot of interesting topics in in, in, in the material um, there along with the basics so hopefully um, you, you know if you put some time studying you should have no trouble with the exam once again it's open book open note but it is long and you only have one hour so prepare a little bit so because I don't think you'll have time to look everything up with that I will conclude um, this test review lecture uh, best of luck on the exam remember there are bonus units in the course and there'll be other opportunities to learn earn extra credit so with that have a good evening